What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can build your own simple audiobook in Python. So let us get right into it. Alright, so for this little project today we're going to have to install two libraries and the first one is called PYTTSX3 which stands for Python Text to Speech version 3. And for this we're going to open up a CMD command line here or whatever terminal you're using and then we're going to say pip install PY Text to Speech version 3 PYTTSX3 and uh, once this is done we're also going to install pip install pi pdf pi pdf2 so you only need pi pdf2 if you're going to use a pdf file but since most books are available as pdfs and this is a portable document format uh, this is a good idea to do that. However, if you have a book in a plain text file or if you have some text that you want to read out uh, from a variable without even using a file, that's also fine. What you need in the end is a string. How you get that string is up to you. If you find a way to read it from doc files or from an API, whatever, just use this one. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You need to have a string that we can then read out uh, with, pa, uh, with Python text to speech. So we're going to say import PYTTSX3 and we're going to say import py pdf2 and then we're going to say with open and we're going to open up the PDF file. Now in this case I have an exercise.pdf which is uh, not really a book, it's just a two-page exercise that I started for university. Uh, I never finished it actually so it's, it's just something that I can pass here. Uh, and then we're going to say reading bytes as book. Now it's important that we read bytes because a PDF doesn't just have strings, it has bytes and the strings are inside the PDF in uh, encoded in the PDF. So we need to extract them using pypdf2. And for this we're going to define a reader and this reader is going to be pypdf2.pdf file reader. And we're going to pass the book as the content here. Then we're going to have audio reader. This audio reader is what's going to read um, read the text to us and the audio reader is just going to be uh, PYTTSX3 init. So this is just going to be initialized here and then we're going to set the speed. This is uh, depending on how fast you want the reader to read. You can set this value here so we can say uh, we can actually say audio reader dot set property and here we can set the rate. Now something along the lines of or something around 150 170 is normal speed if you go to like 300 it's pretty fast if you go to 50 it's pretty slow so we can go ahead and try 100 here to have it a little bit slower than usual uh, or than normal and then we can say for each page in the range of and then we start at zero or actually we don't need to pass zero then uh, we just say reader dot num pages which is the amount of pages that we have uh, in that PDF uh, file, we can say the next page is just going to be reader dot reader dot uh, get page and we're going to get the page of the index page here. So this is just a number here because we're going through a range of the numbers here and then we're going to extract the content from this page by saying next page dot extract uh, extract, uh, what is it? The function extract text is the function. There you go. So we have the content is next page. What we get here as a result dot extract text. And then what we can do, of course, is we can say audio reader dot say so that we hear the content. Uh, and then we're just going to say audio reader dot run and wait. This is what we need to do in order to just hear it. We can just run it now. And you're going to hear that this is just a bunch of nonsense in there. This is not an actual good book. Uh, but we're going to run this here. Markdown exercise. Florian de Duff. There you go. March 7th. This is just my name and what it is. It's an R, R Markdown exercise. Uh, but that's the basic way of how you read PDF text uh, using text-to-speech in Python. 
Now this all works quite well, but the problem is that usually when we have an audiobook, we want to have a sound file. We don't want to have a Python script that we need to run and stop when we listen to an audiobook. We want to have a sound file. So what we can do here in order to get a sound file instead of getting a live uh, text-to-speech here is we can change the save function to a save to file function. So we save the content to a file. And in this case, we can say, for example, my audio book.mp3. This would be one example here. And then it would write the content into the audiobook into the mp3 file. The problem here is that uh, we're iterating over pages. So whenever I open up a new page, it's going to overwrite the audiobook. So what we would have to do here is we would have to create a base string. So for example, uh, we would have to say full text is an empty string. And then we would have to say, um, every time, so this would happen once here, and this would also happen once. Um, but we would always say content equals that, and then we would say full text plus equals content here. And the full text would then be written into the audio file. So we would do it like that. And when we run this, it's going to take a couple of seconds, and then it's going to be done. And we're going to have the audio file here, and it's going to be the same. Let's just wait for it. They go two minutes. It started. Markdown exercise. There you go. So it's the same as a life, uh, life text to speech, but we now have a file. And of course, if you have a book, you're going to have a full audiobook in MP3 format. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.